Welcome back to the learning how to analyze sports with Excel series. What we're going to do next is aggregate all this data. So we have all this data right here in this raw game log and we need to start parsing it and sorting it. So what we're going to do here is calculate every team's season averages. Pretty simple, not much to it. We're just going to average up every team's results for the season and put it into season averages. So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to make three tabs. This one's going to be called raw home raw away, and then raw season. So for each of these tabs, I'm going to designate a header row. That way we know what each column has. We're going to split up these stats into their home stats only, their away stats only, and then their total for the season. We're going to do this via a macro. So go up to the developer ribbon, click on Visual Basic, and here we go. So if you haven't done it already, what you want to do is save this file, save as, a macro enabled workbook. This way you're going to save all your macros as well as the sheet contents. If you don't do this, you're going to lose all your macros when you close the file. So make sure you save it as a macro enabled workbook. So what we want to do is pretty much the same thing we did in our first macros. We're going to do some loops and we're going to use some ifs. So what we want to do is first title our sub and we're going to call it aggregate averages or whatever you want to call it. It doesn't matter. Just make sure you know what it does. And like the first one, we're going to start with A equals 2 and we can just copy and paste this right here. G equals that. And so we're going to do a for loop. For A equals 2 to G, next A. So this is going to be kind of complicated, but stay with me. So first is going to be team equals sheet one dot cells A one dot value. That will be our team. We don't need to really worry about averaging game numbers or dates. We will need to know the location for sorting purposes. We don't need to know the opponent, but we will want to tr keep track of wins and losses. So win equals sheet 1.cells a 6 dot value. All right, and as far as the stats we're going to want to use today, I'm not going to worry about all these stats. But as far as the stats we're going to use for this lesson and the series overall, we're going to want to know offensive efficiency, defensive efficiency, effective field goal percentage, turnover percentage, free throw to field goal attempt ratio, and offensive rebounding percentage. We're going to want to know those statistics. Now I'm going to collect those stats off camera just so we don't waste time just showing me typing in a bunch of stuff. All right, so we've collected all the variables from each row we're going to need. Points and opponents points found in column 7 and 8. Field goals made and field goals attempted in 9 and 10. Three point made, three point attempted, free throws attempted, offensive rebounds, total rebounds. And since defensive rebounds is not a column, we're going to need to calculate that manually, which is just total rebounds minus offensive rebounds, and then turnovers found in column 23. Those are the stats we're going to use for this series. And then the opponent stats. So opponents field goals made, opponent field goals attempted, opponent, opponent all the opponent stats down there. So now we have all these statistics stored in a variable line by line. So now we need to transcribe them into our sheets. We're going to create a function called find team. Function find team. So functions are basically a sub that you feed information to and it'll return you a value. So the purpose of find team is to find what row each team is going to be on in these tabs. So we're going to start this off with row equals zero. And then we're going to do another loop. This one's going to be for our overall season average tab, which is sheet four. You can find that up here. So sheet four to cells, row count, so that's all good. For A, and we're going to start at one here. For A equals one to G, next A. And check equals sheet four dot cells a one dot value. And now we're going to do an if statement to see if that value equals the team we're trying to find, which is up here. If team equals check, then row equals A. That's the row that the team is located on. And if. And then you can do find team equals row. So you use find team right here because that's the name of the function. The result of the function find team is row. That ends the function. And then you can do exit function from there. But if nothing returns, which is the case if a team hasn't been appended yet to the sheet, we return row equals zero. It never changed. So we're going to return find team equals RW. And since we're using that as a function, we want to make sure to define team as string 
That way, this function knows that this variable is on the same page as this variable right here. Otherwise, the function won't work unless you define the variable type. So what we're gonna do right here, raw season row equals find team, team. So we're gonna store this variable as the row that the team is on in the sheet raw season. If raw season row equals zero, then raw season row equals the number of rows in the sheet plus one. So we're gonna append it to the next available row. And now we can start adding our stats. So first we're gonna do sheet four dot cells raw season row dot value equals team. So the first column of raw season row is going to contain our team. And then row two is gonna contain how many games they played. Equals sheet four dot cells raw season row two dot value plus one. So every time we add to that, we're gonna increase the game numbers by one. That's keeping a running count of the number of games recorded so far. So we can divide it for averages. So we're gonna designate column three as wins and column four as losses. So we're gonna do an if statement here. If win equals W, if they won the game, then sheet four dot cells raw season row three dot value equals sheet four dot cells raw season row three dot value plus one. If they lost else, then we're gonna do the same thing, but in column four. Keeping a running count of wins and losses. Column five is going to be how many points they scored on the year. plus PTS, which is our points variable. And then we're gonna do the same thing for points allowed. O points, that's gonna be in column six. A lot of things you can do here is copy and pasting. We can pretty much copy and paste all the way down. So I'm gonna do that off camera. All right, so I have all these row designations spelled out now. So we're adding to all these columns right here, the value of the column existing plus the new value that are stored in these variables up here. So this will do a running count of every row. Okay, now that we have the macro ready to go, I'm gonna run it and see if it works. Now, if there's an error message, which very well could happen, don't worry, everybody makes mistakes, even the advanced people at this. Just find out what your mistake is and fix it. So let's see if this works. Macro run, aggregate, averages. And there we go, we can see things starting to calculate and aggregate. So it looks like it's working so far but we'll have to wait and see if all 30 teams get calculated. And when the screen freezes like this, don't worry about it. It just means Excel's working, but just freezes itself so it can work without having to update all the screen pages and everything. So don't worry about that. Just have a general idea of how long your macro should take. And if it takes longer than it should, you might have a problem of an infinite loop or something like that. You can always press escape if you think it's taking too long and that might break the code, but if it doesn't work when you press escape, you are in an infinite loop you'll have to close Excel and you're gonna lose everything you didn't save. All right, so it looks like everything calculated right. Everyone has 82 games, the wins and losses look accurate. So it looks like we got our aggregate season averages, which is good, or season totals, should I say. These aren't averages yet. So what we wanna do now is put the raw away and raw home tabs in place using the same process. So you can really just copy and paste here. The only thing you're gonna to wanna to do is if loca equals A, then and we can really just copy and paste these right here. And we're gonna to wanna to make another function for the away tab and the home tab. So copy and paste this twice, find team away, find team home. And we're gonna use for away sheet three And for home, it's gonna be sheet two. And now we have functions to find the rows of all three tabs. Way, home, raw, home row, raw away row. So instead of manually replacing all these raw season rows right here and all these sheet fours, what we can do, control F, bring this up and go to replace. 
find what? Sheet four, replace with, and since this is a way, sheet three. And just hit replace one at a time. Be careful. Don't hit replace all because it will replace everything up there too, which we don't want to replace. Do it manually just so you're replacing only what you want to replace. Get to about the end and then do that last one manually just to be careful. And then do the same for raw season row. Raw season row and then raw away row. And then we'll do the same thing for if location equals H. We're going to replace sheet three with sheet two. And then we're going to replace raw away row with raw home row. And one thing you're going to want to do, I haven't done this yet, but I'll do it right here, is we want to clear all those sheets before we run this. That way, in case there's already data there, it's not adding on to what's already there. It's starting from zero. So what you can do, sheet four dot range. So we're gonna select a range, A2, because we don't wanna clear that first row. You know, that's our header, we want that to stay. So A2 to basically the whole thing. So I just do ZZ9999, even though it won't go down that far, dot clear contents. That way it'll clear all the data out and it's not adding what's already there. And do that for all of our sheets that we're gonna append to. So sheets three and two as well. And let's see if this one works. Everyone should have 41 games for home and away, and that should clear. All right, ready? Let's see if this works. Whoops. Ah, so I didn't change this right here. See, I told you, everyone makes mistakes. Yeah, the return value has to be the name of the function. All right, let's see if we get another error. Yes, we do. So whenever you get an error, click debug, and it'll take you to what's wrong. So it looks like our raw away row is equal to zero, so that function's not working right. So I shall investigate. I don't see why this is a problem, but... So one thing you can do when you get an error and you want to rerun the function again, this is a good teaching moment, is you can click a row you want the code to stop at, and then you can close that and rerun the macro, and it'll run the code all the way up to where the red dot is. That way you can check the variables. So if you put your mouse over the variable, right, it'll show you what the variable's value is, see? And that way you can see if any of your variables aren't what they should be, and you can do some debugging. Oh, okay, I see what the problem is. We didn't designate, we didn't add this for raw away and raw home, that's why. See? It's good to learn from mistakes. That's ultimately going to be your biggest teacher here is learning from your mistakes and your errors. Trial and error. So we just need to change these. Raw home is seat two. And then raw away. There we go. And if you ever can't figure something out, almost always Google will be able to answer your question. All right, looks like we're good. And I will get back when it's done running. All right, everything looks good. We got 41 games here, 41 games here, 82 here, so everything ran perfectly. So that's how you aggregate stats, it's that simple. There might be a learning curve to the macro, but as long as you follow along with what I did, you should be able to grasp the concepts. In the next video, we're gonna average all these as well as split out some tabs for some more advanced stats. So stay tuned. Until next time, this is Sports Betting Truth, signing off.